Hey, it's Biddy Penny. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing a couple of cards that I made during craft roulette. The last few weeks, I thought it would be fun to turn on the camera and craft along as Mary and her guests make their magic. So this is a little trick. If you're working with a limited color palette, like the wheel for this week was red plus two, you can pull in neutrals. So like I have this black and white paper pad that has a ton of different designs. And I really liked this one for the card theme because it kind of reminded me of a honeycomb and I thought I was gonna put a bee on it the whole time. And then I ended up changing my mind. Um, so this was a matchbox card. So I cut my paper down to four and a quarter by 11 and then I scored at 10 and five and a half to make the card. Her guest did a little bit of this technique and it is a fun one if you have really detailed like rubber stamps and you wanna paint your flower top and your stem different colors. It is a great technique. You just need to make sure that your uh, markers are water-based and not alcohol-based because that'll mess up your stamps as far as I know. So I had originally thought I would put this B on the card, like queen B. So one of the other parameters for this week was morning. And so um, I just, just went through my stamps and kind of thought about morning time. And I ended up with a really cool card that I've actually already given to my friend who recently went through a divorce. And the... Uh, the sentiment that I did was today is a new day. So I thought that was perfect for a morning card. And you can tell here, I'm kind of playing around and I was playing with that bee and the flowers. And this is a, this girl, if you're wondering, she's from Tailor Made Cards For You. It's a piece of printable ephemera. And so I have a whole bunch of these girls printed up, cut them out with my brother scan and cut. And so I have them in my stash, always ready to go. I stamped out my sentiment. I used a fine liner to go around it. And you guys saw there, I just punched a couple of holes and uh, ran my ribbon through. And then now I'm using uh, some tape to hold this down, some washi tape to hold my pieces where I want them and glue them down. This card came together pretty quickly and was lots of fun to make and like I said once I realized kind of where I was headed with it um, it was fun to have something to give my friend now the last parameter that the will dished out <laughs> was splatter which is fine by me I have no problem with that at all I think that was under the random category so you guys if you watch craft roulette you know everything I'm talking about but if you don't you might be like what is Betty Penny talking about? Well, Craft Roulette is a game show that happens every Friday night here on YouTube. It's hosted by Mary Gunn, and it's a blast. She always has special guests, and they craft along once they figured out what the wheel has decided. So the wheel picks four parameters, and you just make a card with those four parameters. So here's the one from last week, and she actually had three guests on, which was super fun. And I, that week, I really didn't chat much. A lot of times I just enjoy the chat, especially like if I'm cooking dinner or I'm doing something where I can be more involved in the chat. There's a live chat and it's so much fun to catch. Um, but last week I was crafting, so I kind of was just um, catching it here and there. Now I wanted to show you this because one of the parameters was a card with a flap. So I originally had this piece in mind and I thought I could make a really big flap with it. As you could tell, I stepped, stamped the coconut on the inside. I wanted that to kind of hang out on the edge, but nothing else. So I'm showing y'all how I made this flap. Now this card ended up not <laughs> staying in this form, um, but I left all of this in here in case you're ever like, you know, I had a unique stamp set and I wanted to make a flap out of it. And so if you gain something from this, that's, that's cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I stamped this up with my favorite black ink, and then I brought in these watercolors, which are new to me. And, um, 
Okay, I'm gonna say a pro first. The pro is, is that these colors do have a great color saturation. <sighs> the huge con for me that I'm really struggling with is that they streak and they're very, uh, uh, they have like a grain to them. Now it's not like when some watercolors are chalky, it's not like that. It's like a grain in the pigment of the color. I have to say they're not my favorite. Um, I'm gonna have to work with them more, but if I use them in cases like this, I think they'll be fine. For small images where I want a big color payoff, I think these Alta New watercolors are fine. Um, but I did try to watercolor with them the other morning. I just woke up and wanted to watercolor a little bit. I did not have a good experience. So if you're really into watercoloring, I would not recommend this palette. I'm just being honest. I think somebody needs to tell you <laughs> the truth. But hey, that's just me. And I know some people may have it, love it, and I get it. Um, but that's been my experience. All right. So one of the things I think for this week was blending, if I'm not mistaken. And so I definitely did plenty of blending. Now, what I was trying to create here is um, a sunset over the ocean. And it's one of my favorite places to catch a sunset for sure. And so I um, blended the sunset on the card base and then I brought in this blue paper. And because I knew I just wanted blue, I just started with a blue paper base. And then you have less ink blending to do um, instead of starting with white paper. And then I use these Honeybees Slimline Wave die set. And I really like the way this came together. In fact, at this point, when I lay these out, this is where that first part of this part doesn't work out because I don't want to cover up that much of this beautiful card front with that huge flap. And so you guys are actually going to get two cards out of this. So I go ahead and I keep going because I really like this. And so I make this happen. And then I, you know, change gears and do something completely different. So the first thing I do is I know I need a flap. So I thought, okay, I'll sketch out a message in a bottle and that'll make a really cute flap like you open it up to see what the message is in the bottle so i just sketched it out as you can see here i felt like i probably have something like this in my stash but i didn't want to look for it so i just drew it um, and then i folded the paper over cut it out and i had my flap which was one of the parameters um, i think the other parameter was well it had to be three colors and my three colors were blue yellow and pink so now i'm just coloring up the inside of this bottle and then i'll put a really light wash on the front of it and then i'm going to stamp a message on the inside it says tropical state of mind y'all are going to hear some noise i'm going to look for this other card. <laughs> okay, there. So I didn't get a great impression, so I used my pen. Now I brought in these not too shabby stamp sets. Y'all saw me work with these last month. They came in my card kit and I just thought they were perfect. They were the perfect size for this card and of course the perfect theme and it just all came together so nicely. I was so excited by the time I was done with it, even though I had started somewhere completely different. So don't ever feel like you can't change course or, you know, take your card in a new direction. Like if you see that it's just kind of not coming together the way you want it, um, don't be afraid to switch lanes and try something new. So here I just came in with a bunch of dazzling gems and added them to it. And then obviously I wasn't just going to 
throw this away. I had spent time watercoloring it. And so I decided to make this a whole new card, but I kind of um, edited out the flap. So now this is going to be the front and the inside of my card. And because, you know, you only have so much time in the day, I did make this one pretty quick, but I love the way it came out. So I just gave the back of my card base a blue background for the sky. And then I knew I wanted to make a sandy beach for the hat and everything to be sitting in, especially because I'd used that sand embossing powder from Hero Arts. So I really wanted to keep replicating that. So I brought in some just hand copy weight paper. It's like 20 pounds and just ripped it up. And now I'm going to make myself a little sandscape here for everything to kind of be nestled in. And this was just super easy, really fast. Um, I think this card base took me all of five minutes to come up with and to execute. Now, because this is the 20 pound copy weight paper, I did use my tape runner. And I do wanna um, really kind of accent and highlight those edges of the torn paper because it's gonna add such a nice sandy texture so I brought in even more, this is vintage photo, um, even more ink on this brush to really give this some extra dimension or texture. And I love the way that comes out. Now I just glued this part down trimming off the excess and then I'll do the same thing to the inside so you guys craft roulette is tonight at 6 30 central standard time and one of my crafty friends is going to be the guest Carrie Rhodes I am so excited I will definitely be there to cheer her on I'm so happy this is going to be her first time to be on the show and you guys, she's a super talented card maker, but she's also just like a sweetheart. And so is Mary. And I can't wait for those two to get together and craft. So I'm totally going to be there tonight, cheering them both on, watching as I try to do every Friday night. Craft Roulette's kind of like my Friday night hot date. I have a date every Friday night. <laughs> and it's with Mary and her guests. And I love it. <laughs> Okay, so I did go ahead and stamp out a sentiment and now I knew I wasn't going to submit this card So I went ahead and brought in different colors Just a little I pretty much still stuck to the parameters though This sentiment says let the waves hit your feet and the sand be at your seat. I Love this so you guys I've used this stamp set a few times this summer already um, I Really I'm so happy. I picked it up now I went in with stickles and stickled this card up. I added splatters in the background and I stickled all over the images too. So here are close-ups of these two cards. Tropical state of mind, yes. Now I didn't do the inside. I'll have to go back and do that later. I did splatter all that distress ink and just love the way that turned out. Here's this one and you'll be able to catch some of the places. I put it in the drinks, on the shell, around the band, on the glasses, just so much fun. So maybe I'll see you at Craft Roulette tonight in the chat room. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.